Hi, my name is Matteo and today I want to talk to you about the local business schema type. When you installed your WordLift for your first time, you were asked to create an organization because everything you published is published um, based on a publisher and this publisher is either a person or an organization. But if you have, for instance, a shop, you might want to add something to this organization entity. And by the way, the organization entity you can you can always find in vocabulary all entities and you just need to look for it here and you can edit the properties of the organization from the screen. You can see founder, email, telephone, etc. But what if we want to create a local business? Now to create a local business, for instance, we can create this page is the about us page, but you could do that also on the home page. We just need to look here at the entity types and find local business. Hit update uh, and then we need to do a full refresh of the page so that we have uh, the actual model that will allow us to uh, include the data. So let's say that we are um, talking about my shop, some field I already started to uh, to fill in. It's Matteo's shop, the founder is Matteo Cassese. Um, my email my telephone number will be 555. Then I get to the latitude and longitude. Now in order to get your correct latitude and longitude, one of the tricks if you don't already know it by heart is to type in your address and if you look at the address bar here or I think we could also find it. No, we can't find it down here. But if you look at the address bar here you will see that there is a couple of numbers here and these two numbers are exactly the numbers you want to insert. So let's do just this. Let's insert this number here. Let's insert the following number which is a minus 70 something and we will have our correct coordinates into our local business. Then uh, you have uh, you have this map, which is at the moment is a local map. It's gonna uh, is gonna update, and if you want to know the exact way to input your address, you should go on Google and actually Google local business schema, and you will have all the information. Now you're gonna use this uh, this example uh, in this video, so this is going to be our address. We don't have a post box number but we do have a postal code uh, we're just going to copy paste the postal code we will have an address locality which is New York the region will be NY and the country will be US so you can look up from this article all of the country codes that are most uh, applied to you. Then we have just one last thing that we can do is that is to add some same as. So for instance, uh, if we have a um, Google My Business account, we could copy paste here the uh, address of our uh, Google My Business. But let's say that we have uh, uh, a, a trip uh, advisor page uh, for uh, for our for our shop. Let's see any any random shop uh, will do. Now we just go on trip advisor and let's see what they are suggesting uh, here. Let's let's use this. The Pantheon is always it's always good. So we can we can just go over here and just copy paste this. Uh, and we will have added this in our local business listing. And it's as simple as this. You can then hit uh, update. And now this page on the front end won't show anything peculiar, anything uh, special. But uh, if you go into the uh, rich results uh, testing tool from, from Google and test this URL with a bit of luck, you will see that this has been recorded as a local business and now it will be 
connected into Google's and Bing's and all the other search engines, knowledge graphs as being a business on the street and they're going to be connecting it to the other uh, information that they have about you. Like for instance, one of the things you can definitely do uh, here on, uh, on the page is as the same as you can add your um, uh, social media accounts, you could add your Twitter, your LinkedIn, and so on. So we have uh, had a partial success here. We have two warnings. Let's see what happens. We are missing price range and we are missing image. So image we can definitely fix and price range is something that will remain as a warning. But this doesn't mean that Google is recognizing, isn't recognizing us as a local business. And so it can classify us in the correct way to bring the right traffic that we need to grow our business. Thank you so much for watching.